good evening and tonight we have a very special review <laughs> g3 chucky laura <laughs> first i have to say that my channel is absolutely positively not for children in any way shape or form it is for adult collectors only and i have to confess Please forgive me for I have sinned. I did purchase this doll from eBay from a seller who got these dolls early. So let's review her. Okay, here is the front of her box. And right off the bat, I have to say it's boring. The packaging is very, very basic. This, this right here is mesmerizing. This makes you stop in the middle of the aisle and wonder, what's that? But this basic blister packaging is just something you've seen a hundred times before and doesn't make you feel anything. But overall, it's, it's still cute. I do have to wonder, this raised area right here, I wonder if it's a callback to the coffins or something? Because as you can see, it's almost shaped like a coffin. Okay, here's a little bit of a closer look. You can see all her accessories are on that side. And then some artwork over there. And this right here, this little heart with the fangs, it looks like that is replacing the, the core ghoul's individual skulllets. Even the bottom of the box has some Jaculara specific artwork. Really cute. Here is the side of the box. It's black with a bunch of Jaculara specific artwork. Super, super cute. It has Count Fabulous, Jaculara's eye coffin, some magic and things, and her bag and her shoes super super cute and i'm definitely curious to see the other ghouls boxes because i bet they have their own individual artwork on the side and here is the back of the box it has some artwork and then it has some facts about the character which is definitely a callback to the original packaging and on the original run of monster high her monster type is fantastic vampire her monster must-haves are SPF 500 and Cherry Juice. And her monster pet is Count Fabulous. And then here's some artwork of the doll. And this, this is why I could not help myself. I could not control myself until the very second I saw the doll on eBay, I had to snatch her up. As you can see from the artwork... Jaculora has a different body type than any other Monster High doll before her. She is on a curvy body. She has a wider body and larger legs and thighs. And when I saw this, when we got in-hand pictures on Instagram, I started crying because this right here is my body type. I am only four feet, eight inches tall, and I am curvy. I have always struggled with my body image. You know, I have large thighs, large legs, just like Jackie Laura. And then when I saw Jackie Laura has my body type, she looks like me, when I already identified with her so much I, I just started crying because I have always hated my body. I have always hated it. But when I saw Jaculora has my exact body type, she is a short, curvy girl. I, I think I started to hate myself just a little less. So this, it just means the world to me. It was something that I never knew that I needed. But when, when I saw it, I, oh, it just means the world. Here's a closer up view of the back of the box. Mm -hmm. 
and here is Jackie Laura out of the box and I am barely containing myself. She is so gorgeous. Okay, first here are her earrings. She has two different colored earrings, one pink, one black with a heart and a bat on them. She has this pleather little bow with bat wings. It's so cute and it's made of like a pleathery material. She has this pink, um, I'm not sure how to describe it, almost chiffon-like material. Um, and then she has another shirt over that. She has on these black shorts with white little hearts with things on them. And then she has these stockings these stockings. I want a million pairs of these stockings. Oh my god. And then she has these super cute pink shoes. And again, have hearts with bat wings on them. She has this super cute little pink ring that's just in the shape of a gem. Here's a close-up of her face. She has her usual black heart on the side of her cheek. Um, this one is slightly misprinted, but that's okay. And it is smaller than the original Jackie Laura's. She has a widow's peak, which I believe this is the first Jackie Laura to ever have one. She has black and pink split dyed hair that is nice and long. Look how long that is and it is very, very soft. Very, very soft. No gel whatsoever. And I am horrible at identifying hair types, but if I had to guess, I would say it's nylon hair. Um, I cannot confirm that, but that's just my best guess. And she does not come with a stand. I repeat, she does not come with a stand. Unfortunately, the stand I just bought off of Amazon, and it fits her actually pretty well. Here's just another close-up look at Jackie Laura, including her cute little pink and black headband that I forgot to mention earlier. And her ears, she does have pointy ears that do stick out, so you can definitely see them as long as you part her hair just a little bit. And the original Monster High dolls, you did not ever notice the ears because they were flat to their head. These definitely stick out. And they're so cute. Look at those little ears. Oop, just dropped her phone. <laughs> And one thing I am so insanely happy about, there is zero pixelation. Zero pixelation. N modern Barbies, they have absolutely horribly ridiculous pixelation. And that was one thing I was absolutely terrified of. Terrified that these Monster High dolls, these new Monster High dolls would have pixelation. But there is none, and that makes me so so happy. And Jackie Laura has articulation at the elbow, at the wrist, at the knee. She does not have ankle articulation, which the originals did not either. She has the normal amount of head articulation, and she has one huge bonus. She has chest articulation! That's right. The original Monster High dolls did not have chest articulation, but G3 does. So this will be great for photography. Let's take a look at the accessories Jackie Laura came with. She came with this adorable little eye coffin. It is pink and has a bat on the top. 
And this is the cover. So, so cute. She has these sunglasses. Her SPF 500. She comes with a monster pretzel thing with eyeballs and little bat wings. So, so cute. And actually, the, whoop, the pretzel is removable. Cute. She comes with this backpack that is made of a very soft plastic that is mailer bulk. Almost... Almost, but not quite jelly-like. And I would kill to have this backpack be fabric, but I know Mattel doesn't really do fabric material. <laughs> Mattel doesn't really do fabric bags, but they did for Hong Kater, and I would love this to be fabric. Fun fact, I still have not opened my Hong Kater Draculaura. Cherry juice. And look at the cherries have little faces. So cute. And here is Count Fabulous. I really like Count Fabulous's new design. I definitely loved the original, but this one is so, so cute too. I am definitely a Count Fabulous stan. And then last but not least, here is Draculaura's cape. It is pink and black, of course, with a whole bunch of bats and hearts on them. Of course, I had to bring my Crete Production Draculaura, and here they are side by side. They look so, so cute together. And here is the original Count Fabulous compared to his redesign. They're both so, so cute. And since we have the Draculaura Council assembled, let's see what they have to say. <laughs> to 10 out of 10s right off the bat and oh my gosh what's this could it really be 10 out of 10s across the board this has never been seen before and even the current head of the dracula council creep production dracula gives g3 dracula a 10 out of 10 <laughs> This has never been seen before. Oh, congratulations to G3 Jackie Laura. She overall gets a 10 out of 10. So final thoughts. It comes as no surprise to anyone, but I love her. I love her and I am absolutely obsessed. I am so excited for this next generation of Monster High. And I think the fandom just needs to... Take a deep breath and keep an open mind. That's not to say that this new generation doesn't have its flaws. She does not come with a stand. She does not come with a diary. The packaging was boring. And I do feel that this new generation Monster High has kind of lost its edge just a little bit. They don't feel as edgy as G1 did. But overall, I just, I love them. I think Generation 3 has 
a lot more thought and care put into it than G2. And that this just has, this new generation just has so much potential. I am so excited to see what's next. I cannot wait for more Hunster High. And thank you so, so much for watching. I would love to hear your comments. Let me know what you think of Jacculara. Let me know what you would like to see from Monster High. Any likes, shares, comments, and subscribes would be so, so appreciated. And again, thank you so much for watching. Buenas noches.